Hi Thinkers, welcome to the Data Structures in Python course on thinkxacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to start with the heap data structure and we will implement it in Python. So basically a heap data structure is a binary tree representation of, an, of a given array. So let's assume that we are given this array which, is, uh, which has these items which is 2, 15, 4, 30 and so on. And we are also given the index positions of these array. Now what I want to do is I want to actually represent it in the form of a binary tree. So if we want to form a binary tree, we will call it as a binary heap. So I'm just going to write here binary heap because this heap or the uh, this binary tree that we're going to uh, draw here is actually a representation of this given array. So the first thing is how to construct this binary heap. We actually have three rules or three conditions which we will use to represent this array in the form of a binary tree. The first rule says that the root of the binary tree will be equal to the array and the position of this root will be equal to zero. We have a second rule which says that the left child or the position of the left child is going to be the array. We will multiply two multiplied by i where i is the ith node where I wish to find out the left child and then I'm just going to increment it by one and this is how we can give, get the left child. So the binary tree is we are going to build it by using these conditions. So whenever we want to assign an element to the left uh, child, we are just going to take out the position by using two multiplied by i plus one. And similarly for right also, we have a very similar construction which is we are going to use the array 2 multiplied by i. i is the ith node. Instead of 1, we will write 2 here. If we want to calculate the parent node of any child, we can do so by just using array and the position of this node will be equal to i minus 1 divided by 2. All right, so now let's use these three rules to construct this binary heap. The root of this binary heap is going to be 2 because that is the position of the array. So here I'm also going to write that this is the root and I will write the position in square brackets here. So this is actually zero. Now let's see how to get the left and the child nodes of this binary heap. To get the left child, we have this uh, formula, which is two multiplied by i. i is the position of the ith node. You can see the position of i is a zero in this case. Right, so i is the parent, so this is 0. So 0 multiplied by 2 will give me 0, and the final position we will get is 1. And at one position, we have the element 15. So here I am just simply going to write 15, and the position is going to be 1. Similarly, I will use this formula again, and now we will have the value 2 here. So at the position 2, we have the value 4 here. Now we have understood a very simple pattern here. Instead of recalculating the values using this formula, we can use this 0, 1, 2, and then 3 will come here, then 4 will come here, and then we have 5 and 6, so 5 will come here, and then 6 will come here. All right, so let's see what are the elements at these specific positions. So we have 30 here, and at fourth position we have 18, at fifth, we have six and then finally we have 25. So this is the uh, binary heap that we have constructed from this array. This heap is particularly not useful. So in order to make it useful, we have two different types of heap that we can build. The first of them is a max heap and the second one is the min heap. Now the max and min heap are very useful when we are trying to implement a heap as a priority queue. So here you can see I have written it in the brackets here, which is a priority queue. A priority queue is a queue where the first element of the queue will have the highest priority or the minimum priority or the maximum priority. It is based on what we choose out of these two options. So what is a max heap? The property of a max heap says that the value of the parent node inside of the binary heap will always be greater than the values of the child nodes, right? So whether it is the left child or the right child, the value of the parent will always be higher. 
in case of men we have the opposite condition which is lesser than now let's see how we can uh, build this uh, max heap and we are going to uh, in this tutorial we will just use max heap we can just invert these conditions these operators and we will obtain a min heap so let's uh, see how we will write the algorithm in python also uh, to basically understand how to implement this max heap so what i just want to do is i want to convert this binary heap into a max heap which has this specific property right so the first thing is i need to find out we will create a function which is a heapify function and let's call it as a max heapify function because this is a max heap all right so now we have to decide how to max heapify from where we should start the max heapify function and then we will use recursion to do it for the rest of the elements of this binary heap right so the general rule is that the max ep5 function will start from this node here right so if we have any type of tree we are going to start from uh, this node now how we can reach this node is uh, the main reason why we are not starting from the leaf nodes you can see that these are the leaf nodes and the leaf no at the leaf nodes we do not want to call the ep5 functions so in order to avoid that we will have to start the max heap from the one child above the leaf nodes right in order to reach this position uh, we have a very simple formula which is n flow division 2 minus 1 all right so here n specifies the size of the given array so what is the size of the given array here you can see we have seven elements as here so n is going to be seven n divided by 2 which is 7 divided by 2 is actually 3.5 but since we are using n flow division 2 what it will do is because we are not interested in these decimals it is going to remove these decimals and it will give me the value 3 all right so here you can see we have the value 3 here as this value now what i will do is i will subtract it with 1 so now i will get 2 here so now we are going to call this max ep5 function at the at this position 2 right so this is what we have got from our given array and it will hold true for all the given arrays this is a general formula which is actually used to ignore the leaf nodes and to start from this position so now you can see we can start from this or we can even start from this position as well so we will start from this position because after that we can actually move here which is 1 so we'll start with this position which is 2 so now max ep5 will come at this place now what we want to do is we will whenever it will call it we will call this max ep5 function on this position 2 according to this formula now i'm going to assign the this node as the largest element now this is obviously not the largest element i'm just going to assign it as the largest and in the future i will reassign it to the element which i found uh, greater than this element so the way to do is i will first check it with the left node here you can see the value of left node 6 is greater than 4 so now the largest will get assigned here so i'm just going to uh, show that this is now going to be the largest element after we will check a condition now what we will do is we will check the right part in the right part we have 25 now we will not compare with 4 here because now the largest is reassigned to this this value so we are going to compare 25 with this value which is 26 now 25 is greater than 26 so now the largest value is going to point here so that's how we keep reassigning these elements to find the largest element now largest is pointing to the largest element what we will simply do is we will simply swap it with the parent value which is 4 in our case so here I'm going to show a swap symbol here. So we are actually trying to swap these values. So after I call the max ep5 function, I will just reassign the largest value. That's the second step. So I'm going to write here, reassign largest. And the third step is very simple, which is to swap the values after we have found out the largest element, right? So we will uh, write a swap function, we will basically, which will basically swap these values. So after this, uh, after the first iteration, the max ep5 2 will build a max heap for this subtree, right? So we will obtain a max heap here. Now what we need to do is we will have to perform this max ep5 function on all these nodes, which is one and zero. 
So we are going to call this function max hippify on two and then we are going to actually write a for loop which basically what it will do is it will start from i equals to n divided by floor division two minus one and it will go till the value of this i is equals to minus one and at each, po each position I am just going to make sure that the value of i is decremented by one. So now max ep5 will start from two because we have calculated here it was two. In the next iteration the value of i will be decremented by one. So max ep5 will be called at this position which is here. So I'm just going to write that this is here where the max ep5 function will call which will finally build a max heap at this subtree and then finally we will uh, again decrement the value of i and the max ep5 function is now going to point here and it will finally build a max heap. One important property of a max heap and a min heap is that in case of max heap at root you will get the maximum element which you can see obviously in this case also because we are writing the conditions and we are swapping the values. So at root we obviously got the largest element out of all the children and in case of min heap we are going to obtain the minimum element. So this is the theoretical part of uh, binary heaps, max heap and min heap and we have discussed this algorithm now. What I want you to do is before starting with the, with the implementation just try it out yourself just use this algo and try it out yourself and see whether you are able to do it or not.